What's up everyone, it's Chill Bill and I'm back with another video. Today I'll be reviewing the St. Patrick's Day Air Force One. Now official images of this shoe leaked in early January and there was some buzz around it. A lot of people were excited for it to release. But then as the months went by we really didn't hear anything else about it. And then about a week ago the Air Max 90 released in the same color scheme. But we didn't hear anything about the Air Force One. Which made me worried that the shoe was never going to release. Then sure enough, the official release day happened to be yesterday on St. Patrick's Day. But I didn't see any sneaker pages or sneaker blogs talking about it. Which is odd because normally a place like Sneaker News who talked about this shoe in February would mention that it was releasing. But we didn't see any of that. And I didn't see a lot of sites actually release it either. I only saw foot site release it and all the pairs sold out. It didn't release on the sneakers app which is once again very odd. Now maybe there's something I don't know. Maybe it's going to release Saturday or something. I don't I'm not sure. But I was just it was just a very strange release. It was one of those things that like people just forgot about and they just stopped talking about it. I was lucky enough to have a local store at most release them in store today so sure enough I went there and I was happy to pick up my pair now with all that out of the way let's get into the detail of the shoe now the first thing that catches my eye when I look at the shoe is the embossed clovers on the heel and one thing you'll notice about them is that they're all different shapes like they if they wanted to they could have just did the same clover all over but they actually change it it's like there's like three or four different types of clovers. It's like different types of embossed they, they do. Which I think is a really nice detail. It's an all leather shoe. And the colors make up white, dark green, and light green. Now I know a lot of people were not a fan of the shoe because of the light green. I heard a lot of people saying if the shoe was just white and green, it would look a lot better. But I disagree though. I think... What makes this shoe so unique is the contrast of the two greens. There are so many shoes out there that are already white and green. If this shoe didn't have the light green, I don't think I would like it as much. Like this to me is it reminds me of St. Patrick's Day because I think of the shamrock shapes. Now, the quality of the leather, it's a lot nicer than your standard Air Force One. It's a lot softer and when you push on the toe box, it actually gives a lot more now your standard Air Force One is ninety dollars and it usually comes in this synthetic almost plastic like leather it's a really stiff leather this shoe retail for hundred and twenty dollars so it was thirty dollars more than your standard Air Force One and usually when they add usually when they charge more on Air Force One they add better material and I can confirm this leather is better than your standard Air Force One now I wouldn't consider it a premium leather. It's not like the super buttery soft leather. But I would say it's a it's a good leather. It's not great, but it's good. I do think they used a genuine leather this time. Unlike I said, you know, standard Air Forces have synthetic. I think it's a genuine leather. I just don't think it's a premium leather. So I can't complain about the quality. I think it's a nice shoe. And another thing is, you don't have to be Irish to wear this shoe. I think anyone can wear this shoe. And it also doesn't have to be St. Patrick's Day. Like, I think this shoe would look great in the spring or the summer. They did enough detail to make it look like a St. Patrick's Day shoe, but they didn't go over the top. Another thing I want to mention before I end the video is, the gold aglets, you got the gold lace tips, and the gold Air Force One symbol. I think that's a really nice touch. It gives it like that leprechaun vibe. I'm a huge fan of this shoe. If you saw some of my previous videos, I talked about the Strange Love, how much I love those shoes. And I put these up there with them just because it's a holiday themed shoe. They added all these little details, but they added just enough detail where they didn't go over the top to where it screams like. If I wear this down the street, people are going to be like, oh, he's got St. Patrick's Day shoes on. He's, they're just going to be like, oh, he's got green shoes on. 
And then when you get closer, you know, or if you know the background, then you, you might start to tell that it's a St. Patrick's Day shoe. So yeah, I love the little gold detail, the gold uh, lace tips. It also even has the gold Nike Air in the inside. So I'm a huge fan of the shoe. I'm really glad I was able to grab it. I know the hype's not going to be too crazy on it, but if this was a dunk, it would fly off the shelves. So just keep that in mind. This would fly off the shelves and be considered one of the greatest shoes to come out this year. In my opinion, this is one of the best shoes that released so far this year. I mean, obviously there's a ton of shoes that are going to come out later in the year that we don't even know about. So I don't want to sit here and say it's the best shoe to come out. But I think it's definitely one of the best shoes. Let me know your thoughts on these Air Forces. Are they a cop or a drop? I'm Chill Bill. Make sure you smash that like button. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.